Welcome back everyone and welcome back to Let's Talk Ships and New Pain Age Industry. I already talked to you about those uh, earlier but because it has been changed in 0.6.11, the new oncoming patch, what do we expect? You know, Wargaming are testing them like crazy and they have to have some kind of a different versus, let's say Benson's Loyang and uh, the rest of the destroyer. It's very, very close, this destroyer as a uh, very close to uh, Loyang. Uh, after all, it's a Pain Asia destroyer, and you can read uh, all about uh, the name of the, this uh, tier 8 destroyer. But I will tell you what's their flavor. It's kind of a weird. Yeah. All right, guys, are you guys ready? Because I am Zera Channel, the one who's delivering the fastest and the best information. What's next? Now, before I'm gonna say anything else, Keep that in mind guys, this is still a work in progress and it could be or could not be added in this game. But what we have are, uh, for a super test is right now, this is the information. Alright ladies and gents, may we start with the uh, hit points. Oh, 15,500, maximum speed 37.5, turning radius is just absolutely fantastic, 570 meters, rudder shift 3.49. Now all those stats, it's like with no captain, with no module whatsoever, it's a stock configuration, but in general, let me put it, it's basically a Benson. Uh, speed, turning radius, and um, armor, you name it. It's basically a uh, Benson, but not quite, guys. Air detection 3.63, 7.38. I honestly believe if you have uh, the camo and the captain's, um, um, uh, I'm talking about concealment expert, you do will have this bugger at 5.8 kilometers. 5.8, so even though with the module and all stuff like that, uh, it's 5.8. Now, what's the difference between Benson and Loyang? Good that you asked, I will answer for you. It's a US smoke, remember. But you can um, change, uh, if you want smoke, you always have smoke. But instead of speed boost, you will have uh, radar 1 and radar 2, the, the um, gold radar. I honestly believe I am not quite 100% the range. It's about 7.5 kilometers in range and only lasts for 10 seconds at tier 8, only tier 10 seconds. But in general, they uh, have such a great concealment and a, a fast rate of fire that I honestly believe that uh, how you play with this is like with Z52, you panic, but in Z52 you don't have a, a radar, you have a hydro, which basically means that 10 seconds is not a whole lot. Uh, uh, you may panic that capping smoke uh, destroyer, but um, uh, it's not easy to delete because it's 10 seconds only, guys. All right, what should I say about the um, layout? It's basically same rate of fire as Benson, uh, uh, 180 uh, rotation times 5.29 second. But the biggest difference, guys, it's basically all you can see the percent put your enemy on fire, 5% and so on. It's uh, muzzle uh, velocity, the shell speed, it's 792 of those 127 millimeter guns. But seriously, guys, the biggest difference is that you can change your uh, speed boost uh, versus a radar and torpedoes. Yes, you heard me right, torpedo 5x2. You have uh, 10 torpedoes, same as Benson, but here's the deal. It's a DW, it's deep water torps only, which basically means, folks, and this is the biggest difference, you cannot torp another destroyer and you cannot torpedo some light cruisers. I don't know if it is the Royal Navy uh, cruisers, or, but I would bet they will know more information. Once again, those torpedoes are only for other battleships. 
and some heavy cruisers and of course Africa carrier. Uh, torpedo damage 16,633 does the, does the damage, torpedo speed 55 knots, they are the same as Benson, torpedo range 9.15, now I don't know exactly what if it's the Benson but it's close to that 9.50 it's not bad and detection just look at this 0 0.7 kilometers to the all battleship I would like to say good luck to dodge that even though they are kind of a slow 55 knots but it's 0 0.7 detection range that it's one hell of a stealthy and something else uh, and this is the game changer you will not spot those torpedo with your spotter planes I honestly believe the only way you can spot them if you have the vigilant or hydro if you don't have the hydro those the, um, destroyers are made to kill you battleship um, not because they do massive of damage because they you have no goddamn time to react if this captain is knows where to aim his torpedo you are toast and it's uh, double sword because those torpedo will never hit a destroyer which basically means guys that if uh, you want to grind this line remember you cannot kill with torps another destroyer that's the main thing but with guns and with radar that's the thing and you AA defense guy it's basically a Benson 43 32 and 22 in AA department but um, once again guys please let me know what do you think about this consumable right here and it's kind of a fast rate of fire so let's say and this is the thing you have US smoke the best goddamn smoke in the whole game you are coming very close let's say within um, you know 5.8 or even closer 5.5 kilometers I know you don't have quite time to delete that uh, destroy inside his own smoke but if the enemy destroyed does do one mistake and he's going out from his own smoke then you can easily shoot and kill that destroyer at close range because of the fast rate of fire but honestly and here's the deal because the Panasian does not have torpedoes for destroyers you as a destroyer you should never panic sure you might uh, receive one or two or three salvos pr perhaps but probably you're not dead and the torpedo are, are not coming in your own smoke so it's a double sword you know what I'm trying to say but uh, in, in general uh, the thing is that guys that those torpedoes are made for battleship and heavy cruisers only and please let me know what you think about the uh, this tier 8 uh, destroy I will talk in, in the next uh, video about tier 9 and tier 10 destroy thank you guys for watching and always captains fair seas and goodbye